Well, hey, y'all. Welcome to a hard cider Saturday here on Uncle Bub's Bell Buckle Beer Views. Um, and it's a, it, it, yeah, it's Bell Buckle Beer Views, but I've got a hard cider today. Um, this comes from the Urban Orchard Cider Company. And they are out of Asheville, North Carolina. And Asheville, North Carolina has got all kinds of dead gum. They have just got a slew of breweries, micro breweries and stuff like that there. I need to take a vacation week and just go to Asheville and just visit all the breweries, man. Um, <clears throat> anyway, this Urban Orchard Cider Company, it says, uh, what I've got here is a Dry Ridge Craft Cider at a 6.5% ABV. And it says on the, says on the back of it here, uh, Dry Ridge is a crisp, semi-dry craft cider with tropical fruit notes and a green apple finish. Our aging process creates a simple yet complete hard cider that likens to a dry white wine in ease and drinkability. Uh, <clears throat> Urban Orchard Cider Company is family owned and operated by a crew of passionate and fun-loving cider nerds. <laughs> we source all of our apples from North Carolina and utilize multiple yeast strains to craft a diverse offering of cider flavor and aromatic profiles. Our current collection of recipes contains over 80 innovative and creative ciders. Utilizing fruits, vegetables, spices, herbs, flowers, and hot peppers, all of our ciders are aged a minimum of six months to allow for natural clarification and the maturation of natural flavors and aromas. And I thought that was very interesting. I wanted to read that to y'all. Um, <clears throat> so, I don't, Urban Orchard sounds familiar, but I don't think I've ever had anything by them. Uh, the ingredients are hard apple cider, apple juice, water, and carbon dioxide, and it contains sulfites. So, it sounds more like it's a concoction rather than a brew. But I'm um, whatever. Anyway, it's got carbon dioxide in it. I wonder if it's going to have carbonation. I would assume, but you never can tell about some of this stuff. There's a little bit of fizz right there. Let's see what we got here. Oh, wow. That's really clear. I was expecting more of a cider color, but man, that is, it's not hardly as clear as water. It's got just a yellow tint to it, just a slight yellow tint to it. It's not as clear as water, but. I don't know, that aroma is something different. Urban Orchard Dry Ridge. So it likened this cider to a, a, a dry white wine. I think it's what it said on here. Yeah. Oh, this is supposed to be like a dry white wine, and it it, it kind of looks like it. Um, kind of looks like a white wine because that's the kind of tint it has to it. It's really light. Let's give it a taste. See what we got. <clears throat> well, you know, I kind of gave it a taste before I did my cheers and everything because I ain't got no head to try on it. Um, it's really mild. Let me uh, let me go ahead and do my toast. <laughs> I forgot, y'all. <laughs> this uh, Dry Ridge Craft Cider from the Urban Orchard Cider Company out of North Carolina, Asheville, North Carolina, a 6.5% ABV. Yeah, this is for all American workers. <laughs> I love and appreciate y'all. Thank you for the hard work that you do to provide for yourselves and your families and pay your own way, just like I do. I love and appreciate y'all. Cheers, brothers and sisters. <clears throat> so, it's not really on the level of a dry white wine. Um, it has a, maybe a hint. You might, you know, maybe a hint of that kind of flavor. But it's, it's a lot more... <clears throat> um, I don't know. It, 
it doesn't taste as matured as a wine would. Let me put it that way. I mean, they, they say they like to mature it for four months, but still, it does not have the maturation of a wine. You can tell in the flavor of it. It mimics it mimics a dry white wine a little bit, but it's not near as dry, and the flavor is just, you can tell, it's just not. I mean, it's just, but it's good. I mean, there, there's nothing wrong with the flavor of it. It's just not, that comparison doesn't really fly with me. As it's got a good flavor, it's, it's very light and very crisp. Um, I can see, I can, I, I can see it. I can, <laughs> I can taste or I can relate to the green apple finish it was talking about. I think that's what it said. Crafts that are tropical fruit notes. Nah, I'm not really getting that, but the green apple finish I am getting. Um, I don't. I'm not really getting the tropical fruit notes in it at all. Um, it, it has an uh, 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 on the front end. It's it's got a little bit of an apple type flavor. Not getting the tropical fruit notes. Uh, and then in the finish of it, it's 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 got the. I, you can taste that green apple. I mean, it's not real strong, but you can tell. That's that's the flavor of it. And it's good. I mean, it's not fantastic. It's not great. But it's very drinkable. And, I, you know, and it's, it's typically not my thing either, y'all. So some of y'all may love this stuff. Um, I think it's good, but I'm more of a beer guy. And, and, you know, judging something like this is, you know, that's not really into it that much. I mean, I, I can drink them from time to time. They're just really not my thing. Uh, I'm going to score it. I'm going to score it a B plus. Um, and some of y'all may score it an A or higher. Some of you may score it a lot lower. I don't know. Uh, it's, it's a decent brew. It's good. Uh, but it's not, you know, it's not great or anything. Uh, anyway, that's been a hard cider Saturday day on Uncle Buzz Bell Buckle Beer Reviews. Hey, if y'all like beer, if you like alcoholic beverages, different things like that, <clears throat> hit the subscribe button. That's that little beer mug down here in the corner. I'm here every Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, every week. I've been doing it for over five years now, and I only got 625 subscriptions, I think. <laughs> <laughs> y'all help me out if you like beer and like you know seeing different beers and different things like that I've done a bunch of different beer I got over a thousand videos up there y'all I could really use some help from y'all <laughs> I don't get I'm not monetized I don't get paid to do any of this stuff I just enjoy drinking beer and and, uh, and loving on the American people letting them know how much they're loved and appreciated because the, they're the backbone of America. I mean, America don't roll and move without its workers. If every one of us was to stop our jobs tomorrow, America'd fall apart. I mean, there, it'd just be panic everywhere. So, I mean, we're the backbone. Uh, the government ain't nothing but a, 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 a what do you call it, a, a parasite. American workers the backbone and the government is the parasite that's sucking us dry. Anyway, off my soapbox. I love and appreciate y'all. I'll be back next week. Y'all stay tuned. Take care. Cheers.